As we've covered availability sets, Microsoft has also begun to introduce availability zones throughout their regions. Now, they're not available in every region, so it is important to you know, look at the regions when you are planning for availability zones and make sure they are available. But essentially, they work similar to availability sets, um, but now we get 99.99% availability. They minimize the impact of planned and unplanned downtime and really just enforce them like availability sets, but now you choose your specific zone in Azure. So in availability sets, you know, we had those fault domains and update domains. What we do with availability zones is we essentially just choose the zone. In fact, when you build in your virtual machine, you'll get a number. Uh, if availability zones are available in your region, you'll get to choose those instead of availability sets. So it's, it's an either or option. You can't have availability sets now in the regions that have zones. They want to move you towards zones. Uh, but essentially, you choose the zone number. So if you build in uh, a VM, one VM will go in availability zone zero, one will go in availability zone one, uh, and then you know that they're in separate data centers in the same region. Now, the latency is such that it's you know such a fast connection between the two uh, data centers in the region itself, so there's no performance impact by using zones, but they do give much better redundancy. In fact, there was a region outage in South Central at one point where the you know data center essentially had some power issues and went down, and you know just because you're in an availability set did not help you. You were completely out. All the backup generators and things didn't kick in properly, uh, and people had complete outages. But availability zones would be two data centers you know, further enough apart to make sure that in the event of something like that happening, you would still be online, providing your machine was in the other availability zone. So know these in addition to availability sets.